In this video, I'll show you how to take a Mentimeter slide and incorporate it into your PowerPoint presentation. This is a great way to work around the two slide limit built into PowerPoint. Please keep in mind that Mentimeter is best used sparingly and not used throughout a presentation. You might consider using these as pre-assessment and post-assessment in your BOPS lesson planning cycle. So you'll notice that I currently already have my Mentimeter presentation question built in my Mentimeter account. And in this case, I'd like to ask students to list the things they already know or currently believe about a particular topic. And what I'll do then is I'll open up my PowerPoint presentation and I'll find a spot where I'd like to incorporate that question. So I know, for example, that I'd like to include it as a slide to follow my outcomes and act as a pre-assessment in this upcoming lesson. I'll insert a new slide. And on that slide, I'll use the Insert tab again to get the Mentimeter add-ins. In older versions of PowerPoint, you may not be able to customize add-ins this way. Once I'm in the, my, in the office add-in store, I'm going to search for Mentimeter. If this is the first time, I'll need to add the add-in to my presentation. Continue by agreeing to the license and privacy agreement. You can see a preview of a Mentimeter slide is populating here on my slide deck. What I'll do next is while that's loading, I'll minimize my PowerPoint and go into my Mentimeter account. Hit the present button to generate a unique presentation link to your Mentimeter slide. Once you're in present mode, the URL that appears here in the address bar can be copied. Use your right click and copy or control C to copy that link. You cannot copy the link while you're in the edit mode. This clearly has edit at the end of the URL and would not work for the solution that we're working with right now. Back in my PowerPoint, my Mentimeter plugin has been added, and I'll go ahead and paste in the link that I copied from my address bar. Hit select, and while that is loading, resize the Mentimeter box to fit your entire Mentimeter slide. Stretch it out to each corner. Now, when you present your your PowerPoint presentation, this slide will automatically generate your Mentimeter live slide. Students will be invited to go to menti.com and use a unique code to join the session. The code will repopulate once the specific numbers have been uh, expired. Typically they expire within two to seven days and will regenerate.